monovision and micro monovision. This is something your surgeon may discuss with you. When we usually do cataract surgery or lens exchange surgery, we try and save the distance so you can see the distance without spectacles on. But then your intermediate and near vision can be compromised. We can do clever things to try and mitigate that and try and give you some intermediate vision using extended depth of focus lenses or premium monofocal lenses. And again, there are videos which discuss those lenses. But one of the things that we can do and seem to work pretty well is trying to offset one eye. So we work out which eye is dominant. So usually we work out which eye you use the most time and then we set that eye for distance. So you've got hopefully good distance vision in that eye. If you use a premium monofocal or extended depth of focus lens, you'll have decent intermediate vision as well. But then your near vision is the issue and the depth of focus you have will be restricted. If you're motivated for it and you understand the concept behind it and the the slight difference in vision, then we can leave the other eye slightly more short-sighted, somewhere around minus one for for example. That will mean that your distance vision isn't quite as good in that eye, but your intermediate and near vision will be better. So if you imagine, assuming I have my distance vision set in my right eye, which is my dominant eye, and my other eye set for about minus one. When I use both eyes, I can see in the distance, but if I close the left eye, vision's great. If I close the right eye, vision not quite as clear on the distance, but my intermediate vision's a little bit better. Then, when I look intermediate, I'm getting a decent image from my right eye, but a really clear image from my left eye. When I look close up with my right eye, it's blurry because that eye set for distance and intermediate, whereas with my left eye, I get intermediate and near vision. And that way, we can hopefully give you the whole gamut of distance, intermediate, and near vision. Hopefully, there are no guarantees. That's what we aim for. Some people don't cash it in. It doesn't work for everybody. And I can't really understand why some people we don't cash it in. There is some also variability in the lens power calculations, which can mess up the plan a little bit, but in the majority of patients it works. If we offset you too much, as in leave one eye a bit more short-sighted, then that can run into problems because your brain can't handle the image size disparity. Also, if you keep on checking your vision one eye at a time, it'll mess with you because you are getting different images, and the whole point of all this is to give you good binocular vision. So with both eyes open, your vision's good at those distances and those in intermediate distances. So it's important that you understand those concepts and make sure that you don't worry, oh, my, right, my left eye's not as good as my right eye. Well, it's not because we offset it a little bit and we set it for a different distance. You've got to go into that with open eyes. Your surgeon will know all about this and they'll discuss it with you and explain it further. If you've worn contact lenses in the past and actually tried that monovision, that really helps because we know your brain can handle it. And that means that potentially we could push that offset a little bit more to try and give you that closer up vision. But I'm usually more comfortable around the 1, 1.25 Start to difference because I know people can cope with that.